officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Blues have won the draw, and we are now underway. Thomas plays the puck. One-time blast. Denies him. He got all of it. Shot, and that goes off a of body. Chris made an incredible save right there, and his kind of status quo, he's had such a consistent presence in the net all season long, as indicated by his save percentage. His team's in the win column. Can't do much more than give your team a chance. Playing big in the moment there. Great read with the stick. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Quick pass over to Niskanen. Oh, what a save in front. St. Louis has the puck. Into the offensive end now. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Who's the puck? Just gets enough to keep it out. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Koibu. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Quick feed to Shifley. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. Koibu's won the faceoff. Slick feed. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Love that hit. Nice poke check. Koibu's stick handling in his own zone. And he passes it up ahead to Vanek. Shot with the stop. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. Grandlin's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. And that carries off a body in traffic. Oh, and it just scores! And the Blues march on! Well, this goal is just a result of the goaltender being out of position here. James, he gets scrambling in his net, and he can't get set or square to the puck. Strike first here at the opening frame. A relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So that's a nice way to start the game. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. And that pass attempt is deflected. Pass save and a beauty. And he loses control here. Taken by Kane. Nice feed from the right wing. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Battle along the wall. Quick pass across to Neighbors. Puck grab by Prosser. Minnesota's looking to break out. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Prosser. Feeds the puck over to Heatley. Here's a short pass to Foster Square. Scores! He put it in himself. He tried to make the save. I don't think he knew where it was. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. halfway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Center's jam 
warmed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Moves it to Stone. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. St. Louis plays it up ahead. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Scandella. Stopped by Hart. Away, guys. His all alone zone ability means he keeps his cool and executes his game plan to get on the board. Thomas generates chances with clean, accurate passes. That's his tape to tape zone ability, and he loves dishing the puck. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. That'll create some separation. Gurianov's got control of the puck in the corner and makes the routine save. Dished on over to Niskanen. And now he moves it to champion. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Minnesota's got in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. Koivu's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Receives the pass. Phillips is on the attack. Front, just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute. Oh, oh, Spurgeon oh, scores! Oh, and they tuck it into the back of the net. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Minnesota's won it. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Blacks it into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Skates across the blue line. Puts it in deep. Hart's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Stahl's heading down the tunnel after that head contact. I mean, he does not look good, almost days. So I suspect that he's headed right to the quiet room. Yeah, and the medical staff on this one pretty quickly, Cheryl. And certainly a storyline to watch because you do not like seeing that happen to anybody. Quick feed to Michael. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And it's a quick pass to Kairu. Back to the point it goes. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Grabbed along the boards by Scandella. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And now he angles it across to Burns. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. 
Works it across to Bushnevich. Sends the pass over. Rocks him on the play. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. From the wing, it's moved to center. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice for period number two in not too long. injury has ruled him out for the remainder of this game. We just received confirmation, James, and this is a real tough blow when you hear it from the medical staff. I mean, he's got to be feeling it extremely frustrated now. What do you do with the lineup? Well, unfortunate news, but at least it provides clarity for the coaching staff one way or another going forward. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Puts it on net, and that's blocked in traffic. St. Louis plays it up the ice. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance oh. there. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Niskanen. Silverberg's got it against the boards. St. Louis looks to get things going down with the puck. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Koivu. From the right side, they gain the zone. Tried to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Here's a short pass to Van. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Snapper from the slot. And he came up with a solid stop on that play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Koivu's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Taken along the wall by Scandella. Blocked in traffic. Moves it to McDonough. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. The Blues move it ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Stops that one. Crisp's gonna slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, we've got a 2-1 game. Granlin's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Center to the middle. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Make it shake, make it shake. Good check, frees the puck up. Kane's got it in the defensive end. And he's ridden off the puck. Takes the feed, break away. Routine pass save made by Hart. Cut last. Oh, and it misses a chance to extend the lead. Right there. Oh, it was ripe and it was ready, and he was teed up. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Minnesota lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right. Scores! Rips that off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Wild have come to play in a big way tonight. Now up by a pair here early in the second. Well, I love the efforts. I mean, they've been outstanding in all areas of the ice, but they got to keep the pedal to the metal, as they say, because there's a lot of game here to play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick shot! Denies him on the play! Scores! And Lucas right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. Multiple layers on this play. You have to fight for inside positioning to be able
able to corral that rebound, and then you're running out of real estate. You gotta get up high in a hurry over the glove. He does it all. The Wild have been a force offensively tonight. They've been had a lot of jump to their step, James, in particular in the offensive zone. There's been so much motion, it's disrupting coverage, and it's opening up lanes to the net. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Kairou. Moves the puck to Bushnevich. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Oh, they do it again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Champion's going to play it against the half wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he takes the feed. Passes it to Spurgeon. There's a shot. Turns that one away. Chris has had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his tape. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. St. Louis didn't get the start they wanted in this game, and they're certainly not getting the finish, as indicated right there. They get an opportunity on net, and it hits the pipe and out. Minnesota's got the puck. There's the collision. Picked up along the line by Corby. Solid hit on the play. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. And now it's grabbed by Heatley and tries to make a diagonal pass to Granlin. He got all of that hit. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Shot! Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Well, he's got such a great set of hands. And they score! Well, these are such difficult pucks to stop for a goaltender as you catch them going one way and the puck goes the other, but it's all about the great hand-eye coordination and not being afraid to get to the top areas to get your stick on that puck. The Wild have been absolutely tenacious in their pursuit of the puck, and it has paid off in bunches in the back of the net. Yeah, it's been great to watch. I mean, entertaining when there's so many puck touches right through the lineup. It's a lot of fun as a player, too. You feel like you're contributing. Made that stop. Great defensive effort with the stick. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick feed to McDonough. Chance in front, and that's intercepted. Quick pass to Silverberg. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here's a shot. Scores another one, and listen to these fans now, Cheryl, they don't like it one bit. Period number two, and I don't think they want this period to end. Well, they don't. They've got the comfortable lead. 
was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. The Blues finally get some momentum going their way now. Can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for a race, be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. They go on the attack through center. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Koivu's taking it from his own end. Here's a short pass to Enron. Oh, the up here hits the wall, and you know he felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Minnesota's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Koivu's won it in their own end. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Minnesota's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. There's a blast! Big save right at the end! And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation to what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Blues really haven't played well for 40 minutes of play, James, and they need to change the mindset, refocus in this third period if they want to get back in this game. And it's going to start with puck retrieval, having some urgency around it to be able to get it and hold on to it. I mean, they haven't had any possession time. Oh, what a save on the clapper! Big hit in that frees-up possession. Freeze it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Fires it on net, and that's blocked from someone in front. Moves it to champion. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Denies him in front. Kyru is moving it ahead. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Michael. Great reach with the poke check by Krug. The Blues played along the boards. Fires it! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Went for the dirty tangle and it goes sideways. Enroth's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Burns plays it against the boards. His goal! Well, talk about a friendly peak right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck.
The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Levels him with the hit. Moves the puck over to Pareko. Takes the feed. The Blues looking against the half wall. Drops it with the glove. Minnesota's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Granlin's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. That knocks him off the puck. Sends it over to Cruz. Locks him. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. I have to look at the personnel to see who gets the advantage here because it's coincidental, but it's who the team loses that really matters. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck, but you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Scrum along the boards. Here's a chance. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Ayafalo's back in the lineup after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice danger shot. Denies the shooter on that play. Puts it in the net. And we got a stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Whoa. We used to be that saying it'll make them like they used to, James. Well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. Moves it quickly over to Ayafalo. Shuts him down. And that skips out of the offensive end. Pareko's got it along the boards. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right into the zone. Oh, the Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Quick feed to Kairou. Shot! Oh, oh tremendous reflexes as he turns aside the one-timer. Wow! Minnesota's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Koibu's won it off the faceoff. Now a quick pass to Vanek. Sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And now he tries to get it across to Kairou. Takes the feed at the point. Levels him against the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Quick pass to Parisi. Centering pass in front. And that's stopped. And he comes up big again. That's straight off the ball. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender, Luke, does a great job of making it happen. possession. A little crash and then banging forces the turnover. <laughs> Minnesota's been on a roll all night long and they continue to lead in the third. Michaels won a big draw in the own end. Here's a short pass to Champion. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Beatington's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Flames are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And that's broken up. Now he slides it up to Torchenko. Strong hit on the plane. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Pokes it away to 
keep the pressure on. Yeah. Oh, misses the net, and that was, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance, and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you gotta figure he's gonna get one by the Tendi. Slides it on over to Shen. Here's a chance in front. the answer as to who had the better night. Michaels, the player, I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Kane's not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Grandlands won the draw, they'll look to set up. The Blues have it now. Moves it to Foster Spare. Grandlands swooping in on the attack. And a stick in the lane to flex on that one try. away. Slides it diagonally to Couture. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Shen. And a quick save on that one. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Gurianov's crossed the line and gained the zone. Fantastic save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer.